Hello YouTube, sorry uh, yesterday's vlog was a bit uh, weak, there wasn't really much to talk about and I knew I was going to be doing the question and answer thing with Lydia in the evening so I kept the first video fairly short. Oh I had a lie in today which was nice, I didn't actually get up out of bed until about half nine which was fantastic. Off to have a look at the van, um, like I said before I have put off going to view it because I just think until I really needed it I, w I wouldn't make that extra travel time. You know stay in and all but I, I really do need this van i need a good one that's going to last a while i don't want to every time i buy cheap i buy a cheap van just to you know save a bit without a doubt within two months something's going to go wrong with mega on it and I'll, I'll just be thinking i should have just spent the extra money so this time i am spending the extra money sod's law is that it will blow up <laughs> So yeah, really, actually really fucking excited to go try and drive this thing about. It's a really nice van. Oh, oh um, if the guy lets me, I'll, I'll take some video of it. But it, Or the woman, whoever owns the um, garage. Uh, really, really fucking excited. They've got some really nice vans. They, they deal in sort of, I'd say, awesome vans? Well, they're, they're not just like workhorses, they're a bit nicer looking if that makes sense so they've got they've been lowered a little bit yeah standard me i've, I've got to have it lowered and alloys and, and little bits and bobs that have been done bits and bobs I keep saying bits of, and little things that have been done to them to make them look slightly more aggressive i should say so i'm really looking forward to seeing what they got but i think it's because at the moment it's appointment only they're only going to get the van out that i want to look at I, I have a feeling which is a shame because if i saw something else there like i might go oh, that one's probably a better fit but you know who cares i just need the van i'm really excited about it really fucking excited i love cars i fucking love cars i love anything with a motor in motorbikes that's another thing i forgot to say i, I ride motorbikes i suppose that's a hobby as well fucking love motorbikes i've fucking crashed every single one of them i just don't see a, the fear when i'm on them sometimes i do now actually last sort of five years um i haven't had a bike and I got on one not that long ago, and I feel the fear now. There is definite fear there. Whereas before, it was just none. I kept crashing, kept getting up, so I kept getting faster into those corners. <laughs> uh, and it was that dickhead, so I apologize if I've ever pissed anyone off. Yeah, now, now I'm very much like, don't wanna die, don't wanna die. Ugh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Things you do when you're young. Let's uh, get fucking going hour and a half journey so and i hate driving it makes me nervous driving to places i don't know is the most nerve-wracking thing no it's not public speaking is the most nerve-wracking thing but i, I really gives me mega like panic attacks sometimes so here we go i'm going with dad by the way because he's a bit more clued up in the old motoring stuff i mean i'm okay but it's better to have two eyes and plus because we live together in accordance with the social distancing 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 um stuff Otherwise, I would have taken probably Graham, one of my brothers, because uh, he's an ex, well, he's a train mechanic, but he's an engineer for a nuclear power plant. So he's a little bit, more, way more clued up than I am on cars and stuff like that. But fucking hell. Here we go. Continue on M4 for 15 miles. Uh, it's cool. We're about to go across the bridge to Wales. Am I saying that right? Wales? Wales? No, Wales. Canterbury, isn't it? No. What? Wells and Canterbury? Wells, W-E-L-L-S. No, that's in Somerset. Oh. No, I was thinking Glastonbury, my bad. So that's the bridge there we're about to go over. There's the um, water on that side. I can't see much to be honest. Fucking cool though, isn't it? It's massive, you don't get the scale of it on the... I haven't been across this bridge since I was like a kid. Last time we definitely have to pay. Apparently then they got rid of those charges because um, well, they made their money back. I believe that's the case. Uh, this is the knot. That's right. That is cool. Feels like you're in America on that Boston uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Is it working? Yeah. Does it save power? Yeah, it's just off, the screen's off, it's like the action cam. It's doing it to save power. I'm gonna go slowly because I don't know where we're going. So we're going out of Wales now. I didn't record me going around the van because I forgot. But um, also, I just didn't want to ask permission to film someone else's van. I haven't bought it, but I have put a deposit down. Sorry, I have agreed 
to um, buy it, I haven't put the top half down yet. Uh, it's a Volkswagen 2016, uh, pretty low mileage, so I'm really happy with that long wheel base. You see my face? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Did you like the van, Dad? Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's certainly what we want, really. Yeah, exactly. It's massive inside. That's my, part of our main issue, is getting enough stock back in order to keep the website fully stocked all the time. So now we can go do massive um, stock runs. And there's a lorry with a full forklift truck on the back. And as we come across the bridge again, well, you guys might like to see that on the return journey. Of course, it's windy up here. It's fucking windy up here. crazy how someone thought we could keep all this concrete in the air with like string because it's suspended isn't it? Uh, this isn't the Oh no that's the suspended one though. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that one. that's the old bridge. I don't know, I don't know if I'm getting this because this isn't on so I hope I've got it between the... Uh... Did you just tap the screen? <laughs> yeah you will. Got it. Whoop. Fact for you, um, the Bristol Channel has the fastest, second fastest tide in the world. Second highest. Second fastest and the highest actually. That's why it's so clean and we can grow oysters in it. Only second to a place in the Amazon. Uh, okay. No, it's Nova Scotia I think. Is it Nova Scotia? It's somewhere in Canada I believe. I thought it was Amazon. Oh no, that's the, second, that's the largest natural harbour. Because Watch it has the second largest natural harbour. Is it? I've never I know, it's, that I know it's quite large, yeah. There are some turbines. We're actually going to drive really close to them, but we started recording now just to make sure we didn't miss it. I've never been this close to a turbine before. I didn't realise how super massive they are. Have you ever been? Yes, but there's, there's a place in, in Amsterdam, Holland, I went along this on causeway. I can't remember what it's called now, but they were all along this causeway. They're huge, they're so big that they make me feel a bit sick. There's something more of the world to about them, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. You're never going to be able to grasp the full um, scale of them video but they are genuinely massive. They are just there. It's because it's so imposing isn't it? Look at it. That's it. Just got back and really excited about picking up the van next Wednesday. We're going to do a, a double whammy to keep our exposure time out. So we're going to go pick up the van and then go straight to our wholesaler, killing two birds with one stone. We'll take um, my folks' car as well. So we'll have a fucking load of storage space. Yeah, driving it though. Uh, I forgot it's not my Porsche. I nearly, nearly skipped across three lanes in a three lane roundabout because of it. My fault. I just didn't realise how that was completely just me being a fucking idiot, to be honest. I was lucky. Nothing was coming out. I wasn't even going fast. I was doing about 30, but um, no, I was probably doing more like 25, actually, because I knew the corner was coming up, so I was braking. But then it was sharp. Okay, granted, I didn't know the um, the roundabout was going to get that sharp because it was an unusual like, half square, half oval thing. One corner was really sharp, but yeah, it's it, in its defense, though, it held the road pretty well, considering it's a van. And when I say nearly, Skipped over. I didn't actually go over any lanes. I was just very aware that I took the corner a bit fast. If I if I had bum wee noodles, the seat would have been brown coloured. I can tell you that for a fact. <laughs> Great day so far. I've got to now start editing the video from yesterday, and then I've got an hour, at least hour and a half, to of worth of footage from mine and Lydia's Q and A to edit which I am going to put up in one massive video. I know most of you said you prefer about 30 minutes max. There's just no good stopping points and then I'd just rather have it all up in one go and then next time we'll try and make it so it's not so long. But we, we had it 
So we we're, were telling people at the beginning to go get a drink, sit down, chill out, and drink along with us. Okay, so just a couple of things. Someone made a good point earlier about you know how you got to look after customers and stuff. Don't get me wrong, we always look after our customers very well. We'll bend over backwards for them when we can. Uh, if we can, we just can. If we can, we can. Um, the only time I get frustrated like that is when someone is just completely unreasonable because it's no, there's no fucking need. Like I said, we go out of our way to make sure everyone's fucking happy. So when you get one fucking dickhead turning up and he's shaking because he's so angry, they, they can go fuck off and never come back. The guy made the comment, made a very good argument that you know that guy could come back once a week for the next year and spend 20 quid a week, and then the, you know you've taken 1,040 quid off him. Yeah, except I know for a fact that he was about 60, so he would have literally got two fish and chips, no, two portions of fish and one portion of chips. You just can tell when someone's gonna order something like that. Mainly because that's what he said he was gonna order to me <laughs> earlier on. Yeah, so he would have put about a tenner through my till and he's never used me before. Uh, we've been in Porlock for 10 years, hasn't used us down the way, hasn't used us in main town, so he's not a fucking good customer anyway. And you're right. If he came every week, which he fucking won't, it would be worth it. But he won't come every week. No one ever comes every fucking week. Uh, we only get very few people who will come once a week. Most of the time, it's like once every six, seven weeks, which is about average for most people. Even people, like the thing is, if you're nice, I don't care if you come once every two years, you're a fucking welcome whenever. I don't give a shit. If you're a dickhead, I don't want you in once a week, if I'm honest with you. And there are certain levels of dick. Like there are some dickheads where I'm just like, yeah, I'll take your fucking money, put it in my, I'll put your dollars in my fucking till and I'll take that, thank you. But then there's a point where you're just too much of a fucking prick that I just, you're not worth the hassle. And like I said before, that guy, it's all very well to say this guy could have had a very bad day. He could be hungry. I want to stop that notion right there. I've had fucking awful days before in my past. Horrendous days that most people won't ever, and I don't even want to talk about them because they're just things I don't ever want to talk about. They're that bad. I would never go and treat someone like a fucking idiot or a fucking prick or even take my frustration out on someone that I don't know. Also, I don't project my issues onto other people because I am not a prick. I understand that my issues are my issues and other people, it's not other people's fault that they are in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's not. I know that's how most people probably think, but it's not how I think because I'm very aware of, what I'm, even when I'm really angry, like to the point of doing something ridiculous, I, I think with clarity, there is no red mist. I know what I'm doing. I don't understand this, I, I, I just see red. I, I, I know, I, I, I know exactly the consequences to my actions. I just choose to, and I can admit that. But yeah, which means that I'm fully capable of seeing when I'm being mean to someone, and I won't ever go down that route. It's just, it's fucking pointless. So I'm in a mood, someone else has to suffer. That's fucking disgusting behavior. And if that is the case, he can go fuck off as well. I don't need that kind of person in my shop ever. I don't want them around the shop. I don't want them benefiting from it. So I have a comment also said, had a great point. I just, I'm just pulling these up just in case you guys say the same things because I, I have a feeling that they're gonna come up quite often if I don't address them. One is, why don't we take email orders and they can pay later. One is, we take email orders and we're busy they cannot get through to pay because the phone lines didn't stop ringing until seven quarter past seven the other night there was nowhere on earth if they put a pre-order in they would have been able to pay for it beforehand that's one thing um second of all we don't have time to check the emails a lot of the time it's why i don't even check my phone until gone two three o'clock in the day i wake up and i have to do stuff I don't have time to see who's text me at 8 p.m., 8 a.m. in the morning. I don't have time to see what emails I've had through until around, sometimes five, most of the time it's actually after five I get to check my emails. I'll always check the, the shop emails, their priority obviously, as in uh, the online store emails, but like the other emails, they're, they're not priority. So yeah, we can miss orders and then people turn up thinking they got order and they don't. And they also said we should have a voicemail that explains the situation. We already have that in place. It actually explains why we're doing the phone ordering and why you have to pay by card. When the phone is engaged, 
and in use, the answer phone cannot click in. So therefore, I can't have an answer message saying, sorry, the line is busy, please phone back, blah, blah, blah. And I think that was that for that. And then they replied saying, that's fair enough. And another another one said, well, why don't you go on Just Eat? They take 15% uh, commission. And I'm like, if I was on Just Eat, I can turn 150 thousand pounds in the short span of the season that's 30 grand that i've just paid to just eat just so they can use a system i don't deliver outside of this so just eat again is pointless for me but even if if, if it was just a collection system it'd be i'm not paying 15 percent of my take for the luxury of someone being able to order online even then i have to authorize that we none of us in the kitchen have time to authorize anything and i'm not paying an extra person on top of the 15 percent to be sitting there authorizing stuff it just doesn't make sense i would never be able to turn that extra thirty thousand that would make it worth my while during the summer because most days during season we're selling out anyway so i don't and the fridges are full so i can't literally physically make that money so that's that that one put to bed and i'm only saying this because I've had similar questions like this before and I thought they needed addressing. Not because um, I feel that these are things to have, no, I'm not ranting about them, I'm just, I just want to make sure that you guys know why that's why I haven't done these certain things. And I thought I'd make the video rather than reply to most of them. I did reply to the last messages I got about it, but it's, it's one, of those, one of those things at the end of the day. I know you guys are trying to help and I really do appreciate that. So I really don't want this to come across as condescending or um, sharp or that I'm losing getting shirty with you at all that is not the point of me saying this all I want to do is address the questions in a way well in a way that I've addressed it so right everyone recently I've noticed has become the worst fucking driver on the fucking planet no one is fucking looking at anything they're fucking doing they're literally pulling out of fucking junctions with their eyes fucking closed. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe they're counting fucking sheep to go to sleep. Because that's the only reason not to be looking down the fucking road. I get it. There isn't that much traffic. Doesn't mean you can be a fucking moron. Fucking hell. So do you know what I'm, I'm thinking of fucking doing? Lydia's got a, a dash cam in her, in her car. I think I'm going to go and fucking buy a dash cam, put it in my Porsche and my van when I get it. And I'm just gonna post on this vlog channel all the shitty driving I witness. Fuck it. I'm gonna keep the license plates in so people can fucking realize what these idiots are. And then, if they are really bad, I'll fucking post the whole thing to the police. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. You could potentially kill someone because you're a fucking idiot. That is not okay. This goes back to that whole thing where, no, it's all right, I, I, I won't hurt anyone. No, it's all right, I, I, I don't have um, COVID, I know I don't. Well. Been tested? No. So how do you know you don't have COVID? Well, don't feel ill, you fucking idiot. Oh, you cannot, you cannot go around life thinking that because it's okay for you and you're so sure about yourself that your life is more important than other people's. It's not. It's that thinking that's fucking everything up. I can't. I'm not going to go into it because that's that is highly contentious. But I just. The, our society we live in is fucked up beyond belief. You know, the people who watch, you people who watch me, you're the kind of people who can see it from the outside. Otherwise you wouldn't, watching. yeah exactly, otherwise you wouldn't be watching me. But society is degrading to the point where, right, me and my dad were having a conversation in the car. You can't, around our area, they don't do houses anymore. So when you were in, obviously people still live, live in homes and houses. I meant like in school, you don't, now have houses because if you have a house now you then have a designation and if you have a designation that automatically incurs some sort of form of competition and they feel that that isn't something kids should be learning hold the fucking horse oh what horse oh now who likes horses yeah exactly there's only one thing i can say to that fuck off life is a fucking competition those kids are going to leave school believing Oh, I can be an astronaut. I can, I can run uh, Richard Branson's. Well, I don't know why I said Richard Branson. He's not been relevant for a while. Um, Sir Alan, Sh Lord, Lord Alan Sugar's a uh, business empire. No, you fucking can't. No, you can't. You have a certain innate ability within you, which you can change to a certain extent. But if you're not fully capable of that in the first place, you are never going to be a neuroscientist. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen. And if you are capable, there will be 20,000 other people who are just as capable, 
and if not more capable. So you'll leave school thinking life's just about drifting by. No, it's not, because these other people out there, they're sharks. And if you're you're being raised to be bait, you're gonna get chewed the fuck up. Like, I am business, yeah? I am very quite easygoing. I work by a moral code, but sometimes uh, most businesses don't, okay? I will not come into your, if I was gonna buy your business, I would come into it and I'm the nice guy, I'll try to pay as little as possible for it. That's just business. But what I won't do is fuck you over. Most places will pay for as little as they possibly can, then fuck you over, then find another way of fucking you over to get you, get them more money for fucking you over. That's business and that's life and that's how it's always going to be. You can't teach kids it's okay just to let someone walk all over you. If you're a parent and you're sitting here and watching this, you and you're thinking, I am wrong. Your kid is gonna grow up to be anxious, depressed, because they live in a society where their parents wrap them. Children, well, hold on. Not. Yeah, Lydia just said it's good to encourage your children, but not to wrap them in cotton wool. Of course, your parents, you're gonna encourage them. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> there are certain things that like, you were taught differently, Look how well you turned out. And now we have a generation of kids who are worried about everything and that's because they were told they could be anything and they fucking can't. And that's really sad because they were lied to from a very young age. And that to me is worse. In fact, that to me is disgusting because you've given false hope to someone who can never fully achieve that. Instead of teaching them the world is hard and you need to be hard. I mean, obviously you, you can't. So if you take all the bad away, they can experience it. And as we all know, the way you get better at things is by practice. It's just 101. And then we were talking about how they've taken away coursework from some things. Haven't they talk, talked about taking coursework away from GCSEs and stuff? Well, you know, school's easy enough as it is, and they're only taking shit away. Well, I, I think they were talking about taking coursework away because... Well, it's because it's too stressful for the kids. I can't go home yeah. and do all this stuff. Yeah. It's too much work for me. It's school! Yeah. If, if it was too much work... Oh, all right, I'll be honest. I never did my coursework, so I can't really talk. But hard work is what life is about. You can't... You don't go home and... If you want to be truly successful... You, you can't magically just become a doctor. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to be truly successful, you can't go home and just sit there and do nothing. I go home and I work because I want to be successful. Billionaire successful, which I would love to be. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. And that's only just for the accolade. I don't need all that money. I just like the accolade of it and then probably give a lot of it away. But I definitely want to be very, very successful. And you can't do that by not competing. It's just... I need... You wanna be good at something in life. No, 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 don't point it at me because I'm awful. She won't let me point the camera at her. Okay. You wanna be good at something, you have to try hard and yep. then hopefully you'll get it. Mm. If you think that you can just sit there, fuck around and not do anything and then be handed to it, handed to you on a plate, it's not gonna happen. No. You'll be laughed at. You will be laughed at. It's probably why everyone's so anxious because they're getting laughed at. Why are you always so anxious because they're <coughs> laughing at me? I think that's my rap for the day actually. I'll take that. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe as always. Stay in, stay safe. Belt de Lorda. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. And never forget, time is an illusion. Lunchtime, doubly so. If you get where that's from, I'll be really fucking impressed. <laughs>